Okay, so today I will be carrying on with render graph uh, refinements. So, uh, what I want to do today is start working on reworking of the relationships. Um, I don't really believe that this is really the optimal way of dealing with relationships. Because, quite simply, I don't really think having a separate array or sorry, a separate vector of relationships, iterating through that and then going into like the jobs themselves anyways, which are a separate pointer anyways, is really going is like, I don't really think that having relationship relationships here is saving me anything. In fact, hold on. Um, relationships are based on whether or not I am a provider and stuff happens. So yes, if I do this, I'm probably going to create a few extra sum cores than I actually need, but I'm pretty sure I can actually get away with just uh, doing this or this. So we don't have to worry about that anymore like that. Do this. And that becomes non-const. Okay. And run that. Let's double check. I have VR running. Yes, I do. So it gets main application. It's running. VR is... I moved the headset a bit so I can get it at turn on. Yes, it's good. <clears throat> So, okay, that's a big part of the relationships. Yeah, because I have to go through the entire relationship graph, set of relationships every time to find everything. That's not great. What if, as part of this, let's say I had, what if I had the uh, relationship directly inside of um, B? So I have like, what is it, render graph job pointers? Uh, upstream jobs. Is it jobs that happened before? Do I have vector? No, I do not. And then I have uh, the same thing for downstream jobs. And I work things that way. So let's say uh, down where we create the, when we add jobs and generate the relationships around here, let's say uh, um, so I have, the, I have the, the new job. So this will have no downstreams yet because this is at the tip of tree job. But I can say that this upstream job or yeah, upstream jobs start in place back the this. So hold on. This equals that. So that there, we add that there. Hmm. And then the for the upstream job. We then also say, hey, you know, you got a downstream job, which is now me. The new job. Okay. It's still a unique pointer, I believe. Should also probably uh, well. I'm just about to like destroy this anyways. So that's that handles that. Now coming down to here. Let's say we don't do that. We just kind of we just roll through. 
um, downstream jobs, right? Four. Um, no, we're going for the upstream job. Upstream jobs. Because we, because we've already come from downstream. Because down somewhere downstream, we've been like you know requested us to run. So now we're saying, okay, who upstream of me do I need to have run for uh, this to succeed? So I feel like so it's if it's not yet in the process. Add it, yeah, yeah. So if not the upstream job process, then the process place upstream that. Okay, that will mean we we only have we we're pinpointing specific jobs rather than going through the entire set of relationships. We're going through a few items. I mean, it's a bit more overhead on each job, having two sets of lists, vectors, but hmm, I'll take it for simplification purposes. So this would go away. That means the render graph jobs process, all this thing. So this is changing. So instead of the relationships, it's auto star p downstream job out of p job downstream going through. We're not. We don't want to. We don't do this or okay. First of all, if not p downstream job processed. Old job to continue from here. We don't care about this. Um, otherwise, we're because we're going okay. This is where we're going from downstream to upstream, and then in this case, we're going upstream to downstream. Also probably want to do some validation. And execution. Validation and culling going downstream to upstream. So that's right to left and then going left to right on this. We don't have to worry about the relationship anymore. We don't have to do this either. Do that. Signal semaphores. So do that, we do that, we do that, and then we're also going to uh so I need to tell the down so I've created this for local. I've added it to all semaphores. I've also added it to the signaled on the current job and I want the downstream job downstream job to wait for the semaphore okay so I'm going to start using so that when it comes to that that downstream job we're already going to have all the semaphores we need mm hmm yeah, okay. Left base. Hmm. 
think that'll work. Let's see. Let's see if it does. So I yeah. Seemingly it does. VR is okay. Let me try it with validation on always takes a little while to start up. Right. Okay, yeah, it seems okay. No complaints there. Of course, XR doesn't like Belkin validation turning on because it takes forever. No validation issues from Vulcan whatsoever. Very nice. Okay. That's a part. Okay, why don't I just like get rid of the local extra vectors? And instead, say this is like an end of the job weight semaphores, signal semaphores. So the references to the actual job ones, that means I just already have a bunch of items. I'm just adding these. That means I don't have to do this on the local side. Don't have to do this one on the local side. That saves a bit. That also means that if I start exporting, if I start collecting all the submit infos together, this and this will still be correct. Like I won't lose it because I'm moving things around. It should stay by the point the weight and signal semaphores are needed for this. Like they're already static. The vectors and the data isn't changing or moving. So that should actually make things a little bit easier. Doesn't really matter the order. Just to make sure it's not breaking first. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I like that. I'm going to hold on to that. So I'm going to stage it at least. So next part. Relationships. Uh, where how, where do I use them still? I have it there. I have it there. Okay. What data? Okay. I still need to know. I don't need this. I don't need this, but I still need these. The entire point of the relationship was that I was going to be able to figure out, you know, uh, the one-to-ones, which I can still do pretty easily. But I also need to, need to know, like, if a resource is used in let's say modified by an upstream job job and then it's used directly after by two jobs that are like read only okay first of all if it's if the resource is being used by one job directly after this no problem other than you're making sure it's mutable and all that But if it's being used by, let's say, two or more jobs, then I need to make sure like those jobs all have to be using that resource in a read-only manner. And secondly, that it's using the, the, the state of that resource has to be the same across all those jobs. If it's going to be used in a read-only manner across multiple jobs, it has to be in the same state for all of them. Otherwise, you're going to have to go, you, otherwise you can't use that resource in parallel. You would have to use it in a in a serial manner again. So I need this information. I need the resource. I need whether it's read only and I need the state that the um, it wants it in. So I need 
down. Okay, let's just kind of put this here for a moment. Um, ground control data, which is going to be, yes, the render graph job pointer. I already know it's a downstream job. It's in the downstream job data structure. I need the resource data, the pointer to the resource data. I need pool, whether it's read only, it's supposed to be read only, and the the the, the state. Um, which I don't have quite yet, obviously. But okay. This having all this data available in the upstream job facing downstream means like this upstream job can now should now be able to perform uh, the um, what is it? transition transition the resources so like for the render graph uh, blit job. Uh, we have the source image state. We're using that here to transition from whatever it was to our desired one. And then we run whatever. And then afterwards, we're transitioning from what we had to whatever was desired. If I have whatever is desired after this provided by downstream jobs instead of actually being provided to... This render graph job, this render job here, I can automate this. I can basically automate this and this. I'm confident that I can. So, <laughs> first of all, how? I would need to know that it's image state, I guess. Render graph, VK, render graph. Resource state. I need some kind of okay. I'll just kind of call it like a void construct e resource state. Since our relationships are determined by resources in their states. Okay. Uh, so this is this is no longer a pointer. It's now one of those instead. All uh, right. So let's go down to about here. Dot p job equals this. Uh, you don't know what it is. You're quite right. You don't know what it is. As uh, it was internal to that. So we have that. Let me split this to the right. I... <laughs> okay. Um... Struck that. Okay. Uh, p resource equals okay these two are copied straight over that's simple enough to do I don't have anything for the resource state yet but this should mean upstream I don't need the upstream job I don't need I don't need the because I am the upstream job I know who I am when I'm in that context, yeah. So that's just the end of relationships. It's gone. Boom. Whoops. That to that. Magic. Uh, yeah. Um, let's just say it's a number of... Hmm... Whatever. It's just a whatever. Who cares? 
So downstream job is one of these. Downstream job. B job process. B job. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad. Let's make sure that's okay. Uh huh. I should probably get rid of the validation now. Don't really need it. That runs. Let's check VR then again. Okay, let's actually turn VR on this time. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. Okay. Render graph relationship. This entire structure is just not used anymore, correct? Yes. Okay. The render graph itself is pretty dang. Hmm. Okay, let me put I don't know that how that works already. Do I actually set required? Yeah, I do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that's always going to be false. Or just maybe just putting it there just to be explicit is just a safe bet. Hmm. Pretty okay with this. Hmm. Let's commit that. Um, We worked under graph relation. Um, relationship storage. And having eat job is both correctly um <clears throat> proving Okay, now the next part is doing that automatic, either I can figure out one-to-one, -one. Mm, probably not actually, either I figure one-to-one -one or I do the uh, 
resource changing thing. Let me have a like in depth of how exactly this works. Uh, each render graph resource is. Hmm. A resource data and a resource state with a provider. Hmm. Resource data, resource states. Realistically, I do want to patch in resource states like this. Um, I probably want to actually put all this together into render graph resource. Wait, 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 wait. I already have the data? Hold on, what? Now I'm a little confused. Here, I should oh, p resource state in resource dot p. Um, all right. So question mark is what state do I actually pass in? And why is this not? Did I save that? What, what's? Resources in. Okay. Do that again. Okay. Um, I am passing it directly in as it is. Just the source image is brought in directly. All right, then what about, realistically, I want to have it not in the final states. I don't care about the, okay, this is actually going to require one hell of a rework. Okay, um, hmm. there's a lot of interesting things. So what I'm going to do, there are several possible ways that this can go. If, let's say, really, if a job is one to one, let's say I want to kind of do the work beforehand. Because there's also a state possibility where I just do a job, which is like, and then after this is like an export. So there's no actual like command buffer for the export, uh, for the export job. Like it's just, it's just release, basically releases the image. Like it does stuff with the image here and then it just like exports it. So I, yeah, that would mean I want to, I definitely want to have stuff here. However, if there's a job, 
and then it's used by let's say like two things so it goes it splits off into two things whatever like that i still want to have the transition of the resources to be done before but then i also have the kind of the opposite way going on which is like okay what if that no that yikes um And we we have two job, two resource used by two things, and it goes into one. In that case, obviously, I can't do put a job in. Uh, I can't put the transition in in either of those jobs because I don't know when they'll complete or if they'll complete at the same time or in in serial or whatever. You know, based on the graphics card. If it's a, if it's a single queue graphics card like uh, my Intel inter integrated graphics, sure. But I've also seen like graphics cards that have multiple queues, in which case, you know, you don't actually really know when they're going to complete. So in that case, I want the transition to be there. And of course, this also kind of has to deal with the fact like, okay, ooh, yeah. What if there's um, a resource that's just not used afterwards? Like this is the next four job. Like it's, it's read only with these two and then it's released. In that case, I would have to add an extra job, which would be like, I have to insert a job right there, just for the export, which I think I might already do. No, I do not. Oh. I do not right now because I'm already doing it manually. I'm expecting it to already be there. All right. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I need the ability. Oh, and then there's also the case of, let's say, you know, we introduce a resource, and then it's immediately used by two things, but it's not in the resource that we carry, in which case we need to insert a job beforehand. Oh, boy. Luckily, though, if it's just you, if it's just introduced and used, then we can put it on there so i have like what a case of one two three one two three insert uh jobs before one i have job I, okay i do i have i have reasons to insert the transition steps both before and after jobs at the, both the beginning or end of jobs, or creating new jobs before or after, which is, this is going to be fantastic. This is going to be an absolute pain. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Luckily, I do have the, uh, I have changed a lot of this. So, like, I fill the command buffer. So, I can actually insert, like, the pre, pre command transition. And I can do post command transitions here. I just need to start figuring out the cases, basically. So I guess one of the first things I need to do is to figure out, and this is all based, you know, this is all resource stuff. Uh, do I, will I have the ability to figure out So 
I kind of basically need this. Hmm. Stage that. Stage this. Not going to do that yet. Ah. <sighs> Uh, I got it. This is like really beating, beating up my brain right now. This is like a fundamentally hard problem. So these are both technically the first case if it's a one to one relationship. Because the export on. Okay, this is entirely resource based, isn't it? I need to go through each resource and need and I need to see if it's used more than once. As well as if the upstream job. Of course I don't all I also don't need the transition if the the layout, the state is the same both upstream and downstream as well. would be weird I would because then I would probably wouldn't need to do a semaphore in that case right um, automatically well that okay now that's going a bit off the wall no no let's try to keep it somewhat simple or somewhat reasonable. <laughs> and to do that, while I just try to, uh... okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Downstream job, for each downstream job. I need to go through downstream jobs a few times, wouldn't I? First of all, I need to make sure If the downstream job is called, I don't need to care about it at all. Right? Yeah. Or would I? I don't think I would. Ah, okay. I need to go through like each job that's beyond this job. So I kind of need to, okay, I need to change this to be iterator. I need to change it to an iterator system. So auto and iterator equals p job downstream jobs pointer no dot n um auto iterator equals p job downstream jobs dot begin iterator not equals end iterator plus plus iterator so now we're going to iterator, iterator, p job, yeah, 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 okay, that, okay, it's not too bad yet. We're doing that. Ensure, no, um, Resource state stuff. Validate desired resource. 
Yep, that's going to go here, but I need to get proper data in first. So I need P source image state. Hmm, I need I need to need to do this for all of them, don't I? This job desires this to be in that state. Source, yeah. Um not I've got this. Okay, let me save up what I have right now. Because this is about to get real funky real quick. Pipeline barriers, okay. I don't think I need to provide this stuff out again. Which would be a bad, which is probably a bad idea in the first place. But I do need to provide it to this at least. To when I'm adding the job, I need that data in there. I do. Okay. I'm going to need the state of the resources in here to be able to do a comparison with what is desired downstream. So I need like a pair Render graph. Hmm. So it's basically these, both of these. Pointer of the resource and the pointer of the state. The current state. Resource states. Each used input resource. Something like that. And then I can do a comparison using the pointers to the resource themselves. Into that. Right? Resource, resource state, great. Render graph, job, resource, 
Okay. Something like that. A bit more descriptive. This is the state of the of each resource at the end of the job. Normal one. Slide for down team. Okay. Uh, and that's going to be part of this. That's going to come in as part of it. Okay, that's... Hold on. Render graph a job. Add... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Set a relationship in... No, I already know what state I want it in from this, right? From the downstream. Because I'd have to... Uh... No, no, yeah, yeah. No, I need, I need to have. Maybe ah. Oh. Okay. Let me rethink about this. When a job, okay. I need this. I need that. I need that. I need the whether it was uh, Boolean read only. I need those three things. I also need this. And then I can pass that in instead. That. Okay, so the state of each resource at the end of the job for transitions uh, downstream jobs. This is here now. I'm it not. It is not necessarily that the resource state of the downstream job is going to match this. Or like when I when this job provides upstream jobs with the downstream job data, the data that's coming in may not necessarily the, the resources as they come in may be in a different state than the resources that are going out from here. So I, I do need this thing to say, this is here because the incoming outgoing state of resources may differ that read. Actually, read-only cases can be different. Because it may, they may, uh, ah, ah, there may not be an input incoming state because it'd be like a resource that's imported, right? And there's no previous job to that, so hmm. may may differ. This of uh, Oh, 
Spanien. Yes, I have jobs. Yeah, this. Okay. I think that's how I'm going to roll that work this. So this needs to change to dot resource data equals that. Is there anything else I need? Resource, resource state, read only. state okay, I need this this equals that that comma Resource, resource state, read only. Okay. Now, when passing this data into here, I need a different, I can't, I can't do this. I need something else. Graphics, VK resource. Render graph resource state. Something like that. Uh, we have this. Like that. We have this. Incoming state. Outgoing state. Read only, we have the job. Upstream job, okay. This is going to replace that. So this has just become key resources that's integrated into that. Resource camp, key resources. We roll back to here. So this becomes Resources I job upstream Okay, hold on. He upstream job. He new job. Resource states dot in place back. I need that. Resource dot read only. I think that's the last thing in the list. Dot key resource. Resource dot. This is the incoming state. The incoming state. No, 
dot p outgoing state. Okay. Now I need to go through all the other jobs, which are now going to break because of this in a big old way. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I need that. It's not a const anymore. It's going to be just this. All right. Upstream job equals this dot provider dot read only equals false true. This is a read only thing, right? Because I'm just reading it. Yeah. The incoming state equals something I don't have yet. I'll be outgoing state equals something I don't have yet. Just like this, except for destination image. False. Don't need that anymore. That's integrated into this. All right, now I need to figure out the states. Um, T image states. There's going to be four of them instead. I need to keep for the existence of all of this. Don't need to pass it out anymore for this stuff. So it's going to stay internal to the system now. Right. So the incoming state that I want it to be in is that. And it's going to be going out to the same thing. Three and four. This, these are destinations. So I need this equals the image state plus zero. I need to say that it's a graph structure. A 
that's one. Plus two, plus three. Zero, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, I have this image state. So part of this, I need to set this render graph job. I need the, I have this info, right? No, not this, this. So I just need the read only, which is false. Or technically true. But I'm not going to be modifying it here. Maybe not. Maybe not necessary. I don't know. Hmm. I know what the resource is equals. I generated it, right? Where's Oh, it's that. That's gone. Outgoing state equals this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is going to cause absolute havoc up here, isn't it? Because I don't know the incoming state yet. Because this stuff would be moving out. Oh my. I need to move this stuff out first before I can actually do what I want to do. This is going to be painful. Okay, I can still set this stuff out. No, actually, I can do this. Convert those. So... I'm not setting... Okay. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot. This is going to be a lot of painful work. So I'm going to actually um, cut this into two uh, episodes. So this is going to be the first. This is basically a setup for all of this, and this the next episode is just going to be me implementing this transition to this other uh, this new state system for resources next time. So until next time, cheers.